What's up, everyone? Welcome back for the conclusion of this game. Alright, so we'll see how I do. Alright. Anyway, continuing on with talking about, you know, how my life has gone this year and different events and just shit in general about this year and my YouTube channel and whatnot. Um, so, one of the unfortunate things that has happened in my life this past year is that I was having some issues with my wisdom teeth, right? So I had those taken out earlier in the year in like May. Um, you know, cause I was having a lot of tooth pain and a lot of mouth pain and it was getting hard to talk and all that good shit. Um, so I was hoping that once I got my wisdom teeth removed and had that surgery done, that my mouth pain would go away. And earlier in September, I started having issues again with mouth pain. And it's gotten progressively worse and worse and worse and worse, it feels like. And so I finally, you know, bit the bullet the other day because I was like, I can't keep going on with this level of tooth pain because... I had one night at work where it got so bad that it almost legitimately incapacitated me. It got so fucking bad. Um, I mean, there were times when I was bussing tables at work, and, like, I was walking, and then the pain just would hit me, and I just slowed down instantly, stopped dead in my tracks. Because the pain was so bad that I, like, literally just stopped in my tracks, and I did that a couple of times. Um... So then I started taking some ibuprofen, you know, some pain pills, and that's been helping a little bit. Uh, but I finally went to, back to the dental specialist, the same guy who, you know, performed the procedure on my teeth to get my wisdom teeth out in the first place. Because I wanted to make sure that nothing had gone wrong with the uh, wisdom tooth procedure because it really felt like in my mouth that the pain was coming from the same areas where I had my wisdom teeth removed from. So that's why I kind of thought that something might have been wrong there. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that nothing was wrong with that procedure. To be honest, I was going, and I know this is going to sound really stupid, but I was going into that, you know, meeting, uh, going into that appointment with the dental specialist, hoping like hell that it was just an infection. And I know that sounds stupid to say, but I was hoping that it was an infection because that's easy to deal with. You know, you pop a couple of pills, you know, antibiotics or whatever, boom, problem solved. You know, unless you got some weird ass strain of bacteria that's, you know, resistant to antibiotics, in which case you're kind of fucked. Um, so, I went in there hoping that it was something simple, like just an infection. He'd prescribe me some antibiotics, I would take them, and then bada bing, bada boom, good to go. And of course, I wasn't lucky enough to have it just be an infection. Nah. He made mention of the fact that my teeth, the surface of my teeth, are very flat, most likely from tooth grinding, you know, because I'm... I'm pretty sure I grind my teeth in my sleep and whatnot. Um, so he said the reason why I'm probably having mouth pain, which I've never had it this severe in the past, though, so I don't know if I'm, like, subconsciously stressed out about something, so I'm, like, grinding my teeth more or something. Because um, consciously, I'm not really that stressed out about stuff, you know? I mean, I am a little bit stressed out about my future, but other than that, can't really think of anything else I'm stressed out about. Um... But he said, uh, maybe you've been a bit more stressed out lately, so you've been grinding your teeth more. And he's like, the best way to deal with that is to have your you know, primary care dentist make you a custom-made mouth guard that you wear at night to prevent your teeth from grinding. The problem is, is that I've used mouth guards in the past, and they haven't done anything. However, I haven't used custom-made mouth guards in the past. I've just used the generic over-the-counter ones because they're a hell of a lot cheaper than the custom-made ones because the custom-made ones, no joke, can literally cost you upwards of a thousand dollars. 
Like, no shit. That's not actually an exaggeration, by the way. So, I've been a little bit, you know, I just, when he told me that in the, in his office and whatnot, when I was in there, I just, I kind of sank a little bit, because I was like, fuck. You know, I had been saving up all my money to potentially buy a new car, you know, just to be on the safe side, so that way I had all this money so I could buy a new car. In case mine shits out on me. And now I may have to blow a bunch of money on a fucking mouth guard. So that way I don't have constant mouth pain. So. Yeah. And. This is kind of my last hope. You know. If this whole mouth guard thing doesn't work. I don't have money to spend on some expensive procedure. To have them do jaw surgery or anything like that. I just don't have the money. So I hope like hell this fancy expensive mouth guard will pay off. But my dad's insurance changes on January 1st, so I just have to wait until, you know, January 1st, figure out who he's going to mark as my primary care dentist, and then go to them and be like, hey, I have tooth grinding, I need a fucking mouth guard. How much goddamn stupid fucking money is this going to cost me? All that good shit. Uh, so the whole situation, to be honest, oh my god. God, that was a sick shot. Um, yeah, so to be honest, that whole situation just... It just sucks. Because my mouth, even right now, and for the past couple months especially, it's been really bad. You know, even... Because I've been doing a lot of talking today on these videos, I can tell my mouth is bugging me right now. Honestly, if I didn't take ibuprofen like a couple hours ago, my mouth would be dead right now given how much talking I've been doing on these videos for you guys today it's just it's rough I can't keep going on like this living with constant you know mouth pain I just can't do it so in the end I think if this mouth guard helps me you know if a custom fit mouth guard will help me get rid of that tooth pain then I think it'll be worth it to fork over the thousand dollars or whatever to have it get done so is what it is just kind of sucks that i'm gonna have to spend that much money on it you know and if that doesn't work then i'm going with plan b and plan b i don't like the idea of but luckily for me i live in a state that is legalizing marijuana on the 1st of January this year. So plan B, and I know this sounds stupid, but believe it or not, it's actually my mom who gave me this idea. And keep in mind, my mom was an emergency room nurse for seven years. It was my mom who gave me this idea of potentially using marijuana to actually relax my jaw muscles so that way, you know, to take a little bit of marijuana before night to actually relax my jaw muscles so that way I won't clench my teeth as hard while I'm sleeping. And again, I know it sounds stupid. I personally really hate the idea of using drugs, and I wouldn't be using the marijuana to get high. I would be using it for, you know, a legitimate medical purpose. Because again, I, I don't like using drugs to get high. Not that I ever really have, to be honest. I mean, I've had, like, a couple drinks of alcohol, like, once. And that didn't really even do anything to me. But I just really don't like the idea of screwing around with drugs. But that being said, if it's for a legitimate medical purpose and I'm using it for the right reasons, I feel like it'll be okay. So, that's plan B, though. I'm only going to resort to that if I absolutely have to. But at least, you know, you got to look on the bright side of any given situation, no matter how bad it sucks ass. And the good news is that at least I have a plan of how to deal with this tooth pain. Like, yeah, it's going to cost me a shit ton of money, but at least I have a general plan. You know, granted, it's just a theory about my tooth grinding, but given that it was... That theory was presented by a dental specialist, someone who has a shit ton of degrees 
<laughs> hanging on his wall, so that means he's apparently smart and he knows stuff, you know. Uh, he has a bunch of, like, degrees and awards and shit on his wall. You know, you would think that the guy would know at least something about teeth, right? So, chances are he's, his uh, theory is probably spot on that, you know, that my jaw is bugging me because of that tooth grinding. And, you know, it made sense to me when he explained it, too. And he's like, as far as generic mouth guards are concerned, because I told him, I'm like, I've used generic mouth guards in the past. He's like, yeah, the problem with generic mouth guards is that one size does not fit all. He's like, the problem with that is that a lot of them are rubbery and they're almost chewy in a way. So when you're grinding your teeth at night, what you do is you end up chewing the rubbery mouth guard, you know, because the generic over-the-counter ones are rubbery. You end up chewing it and it actually ends up, you know, not doing as much to prevent you know, jaw pain, because you still end up using those, overusing those jaw muscles, so, because the custom-made, uh, very expensive mouth guards are made using hard plastic, so they don't have that issue, so, uh, yeah, this persisting mouth pain just really sucks, you know, especially for a YouTuber like me, I use my voice a lot, you know, so, uh, that just sucks, I'm just gonna try to, you know, muddle through it as best I can, um, so hopefully soon though, I will have some good news for you guys as far as that's concerned. Hopefully within a couple months, I'll have my tooth pain under control finally. And if I don't, then, Hey, I'm just going to get stoned off my ass. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you guys. All right. Well guys, that'll do for that one. And until next time, peace out.